guys, we're the Cool Team with Compass. It's Sarah Inez and Stephanie, and we are excited to talk to you this week about Forsyth County, uh, particularly the numbers that we saw in March. And Inez is actually gonna kick it off with a couple of the points um, to start us off. So one of the interesting facts that we found um, in trying to compare, we usually try to compare quarter one of this year or the current quarter that we're in to last year, and because nothing is as we normally do it, so why should this be? Um, we found that in March, we, if you look at last year, it is only a 1% increase from last year, the active, the amount of sales, the houses that were sold in the month of March, which we all thought, well, that's kind of weird because we all feel like we're so super busy and there's so much activity going on. Um, but those are all homes that usually, that probably closed in January, February, or I'm sorry, went uh, under contract in January, February, and so closed. So that number quite isn't there. I think next month we'll see a big shift. Yeah, we will. Mm -hmm. um, but it's still, it's, you know, just a little bit of an increase from last year to this year, this month. But 408 sales, I mean, that happened at Forsyth County yes. in the month of March. That's, That's still great fantastic. for the county. Yes, really, really good. Absolutely. The, um, the big jump that we do see is the average sales price increased by 17% compared to March of 2020 to March of this year. So incredible. if you bought a house in March of 2020, you've got a lot of <laughs> equity already. Yeah, wow. if you think about it, right, saying to like to the point that we just made about when those homes are under the contract. So a lot of the stuff as we see, it's kind of hard to compare because of, of COVID in the situation. Mm -hmm. But all of those homes would have went under contract before. in January or February. So before the world shut down. Mm -hmm. So that That's sales true. price and that increase is still a great indicator of how well the county was doing and its economic health mm -hmm. before all of this happened and True. it's just continued on there. Yeah. Definitely, and something interesting and why we picked to focus on Foresight this month is mainly because this AJC article that came mm -hmm. out we were all talking about, it actually slated a Foresight as having the highest uh, closed price or highest, highest, I'm sorry, average price of all of the metro counties. And um, I just thought that was really interesting. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I know we've got some higher pricing, but sometimes when we look at it by city, it's probably right. not Foresight that's going to beat out some of those cities like your Alpharetta and your Mills. Mills. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. But, but again, by county, they're leading the pack. Yeah. And then total active listings. So everyone's talking about how it's down and there's not a lot of listings and they're right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so total active listings in Forsyth County right now are 338. That is 60, almost 69% decrease Ooh. from a year ago. Yeah, um, that is that a is, lot fewer that's houses. A lot fewer homes. That's why we're working so hard. Yeah. Um, but yes, that is just, it's just insane. Yeah, in the industry, we look at it in terms of a month supply. Mm -hmm. So yeah. what we call a balanced market is when we have a six-month supply. Mm -hmm. If you have more than six months, it's a buyer's market. If you have less than six months of inventory, it's a seller's market. Obviously, we've been in the seller's market for quite some time, but we are now down to less than one month of inventory, mm -hmm. which means if nobody else puts a house up for sale right now and we have to sell everything that's on the market, it would take less than a month to sell every single house that's on the market and there would be nothing left to buy. So wow. that I don't know that we've seen it this low ever. Uh, I haven't. I know. <laughs> yeah. It's been over yeah. 20 years for me in yeah. this business. So I've we are very it. much in the seller. <laughs> yes, definitely. Very much in the seller market. So clearly, um, we hope you enjoyed this information. We've put together a lot of great tools and strategies, whether you are a buyer or you're a seller in this market, check out our YouTube. Um, we're here to help you. If you'd like to talk, get some counsel, um, that's what we do every day. So we would love to help you out. Thanks so much, guys.